The Imitation of Christ, Book 3, Chapter 54, Following. Nature does everything for her own gain and interest. She does nothing without fee, hoping either to obtain some equal or greater return for her services, or else praise and favor. But grace seeks no worldly return and asks and asks for no reward but God alone. She desires no more of the necessaries of life than will serve her to obtain the things of eternity. Nature takes pleasure in a host of friends and relations, and she boasts of noble rank and high birth makes herself agreeable to the powerful, flatters the rich, and acclaims those who are like herself. But grace loves even her enemies. Matthew chapter 5 verse 44, Luke chapter 6 verse 27. Takes no pride in the number of her friends, and thinks little of high birth, unless it be allied to the greater virtue. She favors the poor rather than the rich and has more in common with the honorable than with the powerful. She takes pleasure in an honest man, not in a deceiver. She constantly encourages good men to labor earnestly for the better gifts. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 31 And by means of these virtues to become like the Son of God. Nature is quick to complain of want and hardship, but grace bears poverty with courage. Nature, struggling and striving on her own behalf, turns everything to her own interest. But grace refers all things to God, from whom they come. She attributes no good to herself. She is not arrogant and presumptuous. She does not argue and exalt her own opinions before others, but submits all her powers of mind and perception to the eternal wisdom and judgment of God. Nature is curious to know secrets and to hear news. She loves to be seen in public and to enjoy sensations. She desires recognition and to do such things as win praise and admiration. But grace does not care for news or novelties, because all these things spring from the age-old corruption of man for there is nothing new or lasting in this world. Grace, therefore, teaches us how the senses are to be disciplined and vain complacency avoided, how anything likely to excite praise and admiration should be humbly concealed, and how in all things and in all knowledge some useful fruit should be sought together with the praise and honor of God. She wants no praise for herself or her doings, but desires that God may be blessed in his gifts, who pour out of pure love, bestows all things. Grace is a supernatural light and the special gift of God. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 the seal of his chosen and the pledge of salvation. Ephesians 1, 14 Which raises man from earthly things to love the heavenly and from worldly makes him spiritual. The more, therefore, that nature is controlled and overcome, the richer is the grace bestowed while man is daily renewed by fresh visitations after the likeness of God. 
Colossians chapter 3 verse 10.